Hi everyone and welcome back to another video here on Jurassic Collectibles. So today we are taking a look at the Chasmosaurus from Creative Beast Studios. This is a part of the upcoming Ceratopsian series um, and this is a really cool figure. So a big thanks to David at Creative Beast Studios for sending this one our way. He did ask me to make it clear that this is not the final packaging. This is rather sample packaging, uh, so the final figures will have a bit thicker card um, and they will also have a matte finish. Um, but I do have to say, as it is, it doesn't look bad, you know, this looks like something that you would find on shelves anyway. So you can see Beasts of the Mesozoic, Ceratopsian series, 118th scale dinosaur action figures, Chasmosaurus belly. And you have got a lovely little paw print there. The Chasmosaurus itself. On the underside of the packaging, we have got the people involved in making this figure possible. So you can see everyone associated with creating this, and also the creativebeast.com website. Now, you won't find this figure on that website right now. It is currently up for pre order via its backing page, which is linked down below in the description. Uh, so if you do want to grab this, you can either pre-order it there, or you will be able to grab it at a later date via the store. So you can see this dinosaur was up to 15.7 feet long, or 4.8 meters. It's found at the Dinosaur Park Formation in Alberta, California, and it was found during the late Cretaceous period, 76.5 million years ago. Chasmosaurus belly was a chasmosaurine of average size. The meaning of its name, Opening Lizard, refers to the large openings or fenestras on its frill. This species was originally named Monoclonius belly. And you can see there is the frill it references. There's actually two hollow gaps inside here, uh, which is where it gets the name Opening Lizard from. And then taking the sleeve off, you can see the rest of the Ceratopsians Wave 1 figures. You have got the Zuni Ceratops, the Styracosaurus, Triceratops, Chasmosaurus, Medusa Ceratops, Diablo Ceratops, Nasuto Ceratops, Proto Ceratops, and the I still can't say it, the Pisiceta This yeah, this one. This one here. If you guys know how to pronounce that, let me know. It's one I've always struggled with. Um, because I think it was in Primeval at one point as well, and I couldn't pronounce it then. Um, <laughs> But moving past that, obviously you can see these two figures are one sixth scale. So if you're a Mattel collector, maybe for your Amber collection, whereas all of the ones up here are one eighteenth scale. So really, really great looking packaging there. You can see taking the sleeve off just gives you a better look at the uh, figure itself, the Chasmosaurus in the packaging. Uh, but what we are going to do, and this is going to pain me because the packaging is so, so nice but we are going to open it up and get the Chasmosaurus out. So, if I go the correct way, go with the grain guys, that should be enough to unlock the packaging. Cool. So, sliding this figure out, I do just want to highlight the absolutely gorgeous indent that this has got so taking the figure out of the packaging you can see that that is lovely you get a really really gorgeous backdrop with these so if you are displaying them in the packaging then obviously they're still going to look really really good which is awesome uh, it's made a quite a thin card again that might change in the final product I think actually the inserts here are final, so this is what they will look like, they will feel like. But it looks really, really good. Um, so yeah, you get a nice insert. And then the figure itself, as you can see just there, if we tidy the packaging off to one side, you can see a very, very cool looking figure. So... We do have some information on how to put it all together, as well as with the fax card just here, which we will get out. So, you can see 
Step one, dip the tail hole in hot water or heat with a hairdryer for 20 seconds. And step two, attach the tail to the ball joint on the figure. So I may need to run and do that very quickly. Uh, I think I've got a hairdryer somewhere here, so we will do that. And there is the fax card. And you can see it's got the length, the location, the time period, and who it was named by, Lawrence Lamb in 1902, renamed in 1914. So really gorgeous fax card, also has got that beautiful, beautiful artwork there, as you can see, and the Beast of the Mesoic. So we will take this figure off, we will go and we will do all of the stuff needed to attach the tail. Okay, we're back, we have got the Chasmosaurus all sorted. So you can see here, the figure is out of the packaging. And I have to admit, this is really, really cool. There is a lot of gorgeous paint apps on this figure. You can see, if we can get it in focus, the face itself is incredible. You've got blues, browns, light browns, dark browns, yellow for the eye with black around the pupil, and then kind of really, really nice paintwork on the horn here as well. Paintwork for the nasal cavity, paintwork for the inside of the mouth, if we can get that in focus for you. You can see that everything here has just got so much detail packed into it, and actually that mouth, there's tons of sculpt work in there. Kind of like packed away where you're not even going to be looking, so really, really cool looking figure indeed. Really nice to be able to kind of like close that up, close it together. Looks cool. And you can see the figure itself has got this lime green colour scheme that then has got dark brown, light brown, whites and blues and then darker greens kind of on the calf muscles um, and moving down into the feet as well. And you can see looking at that head on, that crest there, just up here especially, looks absolutely incredible getting that to focus on that it just it looks so good you've got greys up here greys down the sides either side to really make it pop and the paintwork is really really clean which is impressive for the level of detail packed into this you know these are premium products uh, David and the team are priding themselves on making figures that are slightly more detailed well actually a lot more detailed um, they've got a lot more articulation and everything else than other dinosaur figures on the market right now and I think that really does show in this figure here as you can see it looks so good so bringing that head back a little bit closer you can see the level of paintwork on that alone is really really gorgeous you've got the eye you've got really nice texturing packed in here Lots of nice pebbled skin, which really, really pops with all of the different paint apps. Um, and then that carries down the neck, which is quite heavy, quite bulbous, looks cool. Carries into the body, where you've got lots of nice texturing, especially on the underbelly there, to just make this pop. And then you've even got nice sculpting in the feet. You can see the underside of the feet there just looks absolutely incredible loads and loads of detail packed into this figure and you can see it's pretty sizable as well um if i grab dr alan grant from the mattel jurassic park line you can see that the, compared to that that is like it, it's so good it's so so perfect um it scales really really well with him and it looks good you can picture him kind of running away from this almost looking slightly terrified um, so it scales really nicely with other 1/18th scale figures, and overall, I'm just really impressed with the colours on this. It really kind of stands out and pops and feels very lifelike, um, especially compared to a lot of other figures on the market. I would argue that this kind of combines Mattel and other companies like Collecte. So Collecte, for example, have a lot of detail. This packs in the detail, but also the articulation. Um, and that's really critical. The articulation here, you can see the head. We get a lot of movement all around those joints to really kind of give you some good angles. The legs are kind of on almost, I want to say ball sockets maybe in there. 
Um, and you then get hinges down here which are ratcheted. Hopefully that's staying in focus. You get swivels at the feet. You even get little joints on the hind legs. You can pop them in and out. You get this absolutely gorgeous uh, kind of pivot joint in the middle of the torso, which really helps the figure to kind of adjust. So if you were posing it on an incline, for example, just having that extra range of motion really helps to add some character to the poses that you can get, uh, which is really useful. Um, and then the tail is obviously on a ball joint as well, so you can get some really, really gorgeous movement out of that, which allows you to angle it in different ways. You can see there we can align it nicely with the paintwork and all of that really helps to make this feel nice and dynamic. And obviously I touched on it before as well but the jaw just here as well does open up and you get that kind of really nice look from that as well. Um, so all in all this is genuinely a really really gorgeous piece. Um, lots of detail packed into it, lots of colours, lots of articulation and it just scales so well with any other real sort of 118th scale figures, but it really does stand on its own merits as a figure, and I think that's so important to acknowledge. Um, so, really grateful to David for sending this over. Again, full disclosure, the Creative Beast Studio stuff is something I've had my eyes on for a while. I know he did a lot of um, small-scale theropods as the first wave of the Mesozoic line and I think we reviewed some here on the channel, I think JC did. So really glad to get something in hand um, from his collection to take a look at, to digest myself and to have a play with as well. I'm really excited to take this one out in the garden. Not to play with, to photograph, I should clarify that. I'm not going to ruin this figure playing with it, don't you worry. Um, so yeah, that has been your look at the Beast of the Mesoic, the Ceratopsian line at Chasmosaurus. I really hope you've enjoyed our look at this figure. Again, massive thanks to David for sending it over. Links in the description to pick your own figure up. Uh, again, up for pre-order, so do head over, take a look, pre-order one if you want it. Uh, or if not, pick one up when it goes on the shop later on as well. Thanks so much for watching this review, guys. As always, take care and have a great week.